Welcome back to Photoshop Training Essentials. In this video we will look, work with the selection tools and the first ones that we want to take a look at are actually the marquee type of tools and those are the second and the third um, tool down after the move tool in this first section where we have all of our selection tools where they reside. Uh, the marquee tools, let's do this first one here where we use um, shape and if we click and hold we'll see that we have a rectangular and elliptical and we can also do a single row horizontally or vertically. Um, that's what we have available and to use it you select one of the tools and you can click and drag into the opposite direction uh, from top left to bottom right or you can also click in from any point and drag in the opposite direction. Um, if you notice then um, in the corner here you'll see a width and a height. Uh, my preferences are, are set so that we can see the number of pixels across that we um, have available. We can always change a unit of measure. If we want to choose uh, to change the unit of measure we can do it actually here in the um, ruler. If you right or control click in the ruler you can choose for, to go from pixels to inches or any other unit of measure that's available. To deselect a selection, a couple of ways you can do that, but the easiest is to using the marquee tool, you can click in an empty area and it will disappear. The other way is to use the command or control key um, and hit the D key right afterwards. Okay, that deselects. And uh, we can constrain constrain our proportions while we're creating a shape by clicking and dragging and if you hold the shift key down that constrains our proportions. We have a perfect square or if we use the elliptical click and drag and uh, even if I have my proportions way um, away from being a perfect circle if I hit the shift key it will jump to being a perfect circle. Okay. Another thing that you might want to find useful um, is to be able to move the point of origin. Uh, let's say I want to select the middle of this um, plant. I can always, while I have my um, mouse clicked down and I'm still drawing the marquee or the shape, hold down the spacebar key and then drag your mouse and we're able to move the marquee. Let go and there we have a perfect selection. Now you'll notice that um, the, once you, once you uh, deselect or let go of the mouse while once you have drawn a shape, um, you'll notice that it looks like the, there's a flashing light or uh, like what we call a marquee. Uh, just like at a movie theater, the lights go um, and alternate. This is also referred to as dancing ants. Um, in other words, we have a live selection and uh, these things are moving along so we know where the selection is available and that it's live. Okay. Um, to make it so that we can change our shape. Let's say I've already drawn this but I want to change the shape that I have um, by scaling it up, um, resizing it, distorting it without disturbing the pixels underneath. I'm just working with the selection. Um, I need to go to the select drop down menu and if you choose more than halfway down transform selection it will put a um, bounding box around it and we are able to grab the handles or corners here, moving them in and out and customizing the shape of my selection. Okay, we'll get more familiar with that. It's a very handy, useful way of 
um, creating your selection and then customizing it a little bit more. Other things that you can do to it, once you have um, a transform your selection, then you can go under the edit drop down menu and choose transform and we're able to do different types of transformations. We can rotate specifically scale which means uh, making it larger or smaller, skew which means we can slant it, distort we can pull the co each individual corner out and we can also use perspective and warp. Okay, We can get into these tools a little bit later Let's try um, something like skew, just for demo's sake. A skew, you'll hover over the uh, bounding box. You can click and drag it, and so you'll see we can um, distort our selection without disturbing any pixels. Now, how do I set it so that I can um, uh, set the selection back into place? One of two ways up in the top um, area here. Um, there's a check bar uh, box here and if we click on that that will set our selection into place. Okay, Or in an empty space inside of it, not in the middle, but in an empty space we can double click and it will set the transform um, into place. Okay, there's several more um, selection tools and the others are hidden under the lasso tool. So there's a set of lasso tools. Lasso and the polygonal lasso tool. Also a magnetic lasso tool which I don't use very often. Um, it's used in the, under uh, certain circumstances. The lasso tool is like a freeform um, drawing tool. We can make a selection to whatever shape and we're like we're drawing. So we click and drag um, along the surface here and we can make a shape. It's somewhat difficult to get uh, the exact shape that you want to unless you have something like a Wacom tablet but using the mouse it's a little more difficult. How do I match going back to the origin? Well I basically need to go as close as I can and then let go. There will be a, um, a point where uh, Photoshop will close that for you. Okay, um, and then so now I have a custom shape. Um, the polygon lasso tool uh, does straight lines, and that is uh, used to make um, a shape that is somewhat freeform, but we have straight lines. So we click a point of origin and then click and that anchors um, each line segment so that we can get a little bit more accuracy for our selection. This is a little bit more general and yes they are straight lines so it may not be exactly what you want but it um, certainly is a useful tool. Now to close this you want to get as close to the point of origin as possible and you'll notice that there's uh, a change in the icon. It's a little um, O or a zero and we can uh, click to close that that uh, selection. Okay, let's go back. Okay, and um, when we select something we can also then move these um, pixels. What we have here is a way of selecting just pixels so that we have available inside of the selection um, or an open area for us to paint into or if we use the move tool okay, uh, I've which I've changed to, we can click and we can cut that out. Moving it on um, its own layer it still it becomes more of a permanent thing. So we move it and what happens is this area is filled actually with the background color you'll notice uh, the background color matches. Okay and uh, that's it for um, this part of our selections. We're going to move on to some other selection tools and ways of um, understanding uh, how our selections work.